Hello friends, this is Durga from IT University. Uh, I, I, I have a playlist called Plain Vanilla Hadoop Single Node Setup and uh, Development. So, uh, so far uh, as part of this, I have covered how to set up uh, VM and install Hadoop uh, as well as HBase. In this video, I will cover how to set up MySQL database. The reason we need MySQL database is if we want to add tools like Hi, Uzi, uh, etc. and also practice scoop, uh, you need to have a relational database. And um, I am trying to package all the necessary softwares within the uh, VM. Um, yeah, if you have 16 GB laptop, you can use um, uh, Cloudera Quick Start VM or Hortonworks Quick Start VM. Um, or Hortonwork Sandbox and start uh, exploring this technology from the development perspective. But if you want to have some hands-on experience on administration and if you don't have a very good laptop which is quite common in developing countries like India, um, hardly they will have a GB laptop and uh, in that you cannot run Cloudera or Hortonwork Sandbox uh, to practice. You will run into too many issues. For that reason, having a plain vanilla Hadoop with bare minimum Linux uh, can help you uh, quite a bit. It will be more stable and it will save time and also it will give you some hands-on expertise from the administration perspective as well on top of development. So let's go ahead and start installing MySQL as part of this video and we will try to use this database in several ways. This uh, video not only covers setting up MySQL but also creating a database. Um, uh, and create some tables in it uh, and that uh, uh, data in those tables will be used uh, um, uh, while practicing scoop and uh, other stuff down the line. That being said, the VM which I have uh, demonstrated so far is on CentOS. Uh, so we will be using CentOS based commands to actually uh, uh, install MySQL. Hence, we will use the yum installer. It works uh, same in uh, CentOS or Fedora or Red Hat. Both are uh, uh, all of them are Red Hat flavors. So you can run if you are if you have logged in as root, you can just run yum minus y install MySQL server, and it will download the MySQL database and install on your VM. Well, if you want to have um, know the commands, you can go to my uh, GitHub repository under code Hadoop administration Cloudera scripts. There is a setup mysql.txt file. Uh, you can run all these uh, commands till this one to finish the installation of mysql and then we will see how to create a database. And uh, even for that, this script have um, uh, example database, but in our case, we will use uh, uh, a different name for our database, not cards. But you can uh, use this script for uh, for your reference to set it up on your VM. Okay, now it is installed. And uh, um, once you install MySQL to connect to MySQL instance, you need to have MySQL connector. Yeah, what it will do is uh, when you install it, it will download the uh, JDBC jar and it will put it in appropriate location so that you can uh, use it to connect to the database uh, using JDBC. So it is MySQL connector Java and hit enter. Okay, it is also done. So you have installed uh, MySQL server and MySQL connector using M installer. Now you have to start the MySQL uh, server. For that, you can say service MySQL D. This is the daemon process which you need to start. Uh, this will be installed as part of the M install command. You just say start. So it will uh, start like this when you run service MySQL D start. Uh, once uh, the database is started, uh, we have SQL server installed, sorry, MySQL server installed, MySQL connector installed, and also we have started the MySQL daemon process. And now we can actually connect to the database. 
by saying uh, mysql minus u root so by default it will uh, enable passwordless login for root uh, and root is the only user it will be there to begin with um, we will try to enable password login for root uh, it's a best practice and you should know how to do it in general so i will cover that also so under user bin there is a command called mysql secure installation you have to run this script when you log in for the first time uh, you will not have password for the root so here you can just hit enter uh, now you have to say yes to set the root password i am setting it as itversity remove anonymous users yes i just want to remove all the unnecessary users i want to allow root login remotely so if you uh, if you say yes here if you have any uh, if you have mysql client on any of the other servers if you know the root password you will be able to log in even remotely so i just want to say yes it doesn't matter as we will be using the same vm for for everything it doesn't matter whether you say yes or no but i am saying yes i want to remove the test databases and access to it yes and i want to reload privileges privilege tables now yes and uh, now you have enabled the password login for root now to login you cannot just say minus u root it will fail you have to say minus u root and then minus p to prompt for the password and it will prompt for the password and you can give the password and you can log in now we have the uh, server installed um, and uh, if you um, in case of mysql it is a uh, it supports multiple databases in under one installation hence you have to run show databases to list the database in mysql uh, as we have deleted the test database it will only show two databases information schema and mysql information schema is a data dictionary database in mysql and mysql is a system database uh, and any uh, new uh, for any business purpose you, we have to create new one so in this case we will create a database called create database retail underscore db why i am creating as retail underscore db um, because i will be demonstrating uh, uh, most of the stuff by using the data provided by cloudera uh, when you download cloudera quick start vm it comes with mysql database um, with a copy of uh, retail underscore db uh, with six tables and i have created a dump of it and uh, uploaded onto my github account with the name retail underscore db dot sql you can download it and you can simulate it on any vm uh, where you have the mysql database so uh, to facilitate people to use uh, uh, the plain vanilla hadoop and still practice my um, uh, videos uh, um, based on my videos i am trying to create simulate uh, the database same as cloudera uh, and uh, the database name is retail underscore db and once you created uh, once you create database in mysql you need to create a user and grant access to the user and the username is retail underscore dba identified by in cloudera the password is cloudera but in, in this case i am giving it as itversity and hit enter and now you can grant all on what is our database name our database name is retail underscore db dot star to retail underscore dba and hit enter and then you have to flush privileges okay and all these instructions are there in the setup mysql.txt file uh, here instead of cards i have used retail underscore db and in the user i have used retail underscore dba and instead of password how do i have used itversity and here i have granted on retail underscore db dot star to retail uh, retail underscore uh, dba and now you can exit and uh, then you can say retail underscore dba minus p our password is itversity and now you you can log in uh, to the database with the password that we used to create and also you you can actually uh, generate script uh, like this retail underscore db dot sql 
I am deleting this and I am recopying from my GitHub account. You can download it also um, and then you can copy it from your PC to here uh, if you are not comfortable with, with VA editor. In this case, I will try to just copy it. I am opening it in raw mode. Copy and then right click, paste and it will take some time because it has a lot of things that it has to copy. So you can also download using wget command directly on your VM. Uh, you just have to go to uh, open my account. Um, go to my github account, go to this location and uh, you have to click on the retail underscore db dot sql and you can copy this one and then you can run wget paste and hit enter it will download the file okay let me delete okay it will download the file okay it is getting interrupted for some reason hmm. it should be downloaded without any issues but sometimes it fails Yeah, you have to click on the raw and then you have to copy that path and then you have to say wget paste so you only be able to download the raw file and now it will actually download the raw file it is a pretty big file i think it's approximately 10 mb and now the data is copied you can see this is uh, about 10 mb and now we have to execute this sql script uh, by logging in as retail underscore dba minus p and our password is itversity now you can say show databases it will list the database you have access to you should not use information schema use retail db to connect to the retail underscore db database and now we have to run the script retail underscore db dot sql here you just have to say source and uh, you can give the absolute path or relative path as we have launched mysql from the home directory and our retail underscore d dot uh, retail underscore db dot sql is also under home directory you can say source retail underscore db dot sql and hit enter now it will actually create the tables and uh, insert data into the tables now you can say show tables and it will list all the tables and you can actually do select count of one from all the tables to see how much data you have categories customers like that you can run on all the tables and also if you want to just list few records from a given table you can say self start from orders limit 10 it will just show 10 records on the table so this is how you can actually set up mysql and also use the dump which i have on my github account uh, once you have the um, uh, mysql installation and the database um, we can uh, use this mysql installation to create metastore databases for tools like hive and also we can practice uh, tools like scoop to copy data from the uh, relational database into hadoop so you will see all those things down the line in um, future videos. That being said, I hope you are enjoying the content on my channel. If you like this video, please click on the like button. If you want to provide feedback, please use the comment section of the video. And if you have not subscribed to my channel yet, please do so. You will get to see a lot more content like this over time. Thank you. Bye.